Okay, I think we're live. Only three minutes late. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what happened, but when I started my Facebook Live, it froze, and I couldn't get it to unfreeze, so I had to shut my phone off and reboot. So I'm glad we're here. I see some people coming in. I'm just going to get myself set up on um, my comments so I can see what's happening. And hi, Carrie. Hi, Kathy. Marsha. Welcome. I'm glad you guys are tuning in tonight. I have some fantastic projects. I'm just giddy about the projects that I have to show you with the new holiday mini catalog. So, yeah. Okay, let me hit my mute on my computer and push this. Thank you for the share already. Hi, Sarah, Debbie, Claudia, Gilmore. Welcome, Sarah. So I got, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, did anybody do anything fun? Like I had a lot of fun because I had a card buffet Saturday morning. That's always fun for me. And then, um, let's see, yesterday after the card buffet, I think I took a little nap. Hmm. <laughs> and then I got to work on our projects for today. And oh my gosh, I was up super late last night. I got some um, one, two, three, four, five, six or seven cards created, which is just an amazing feeling. I'm coming up on a very busy time of the year, not only stamping up wise, as far as, you know, the holiday mini catalog is live and we have so many beautiful new products to show you, but it's hunting season. And with that comes, um, a Kelly that is gone every weekend. So that really throws a little monkey wrench into my schedule, right? So I have to be on my game and get everything done ahead of time so that I'm not neglecting you, <laughs> which I certainly would never do. Hi, Karen. Welcome. And Karen Wetstein, welcome to you too. Sharon, I know. So let me tell you about my nap today. It was hysterical. So, um, like I said, I was up super late last night. I just had a rhythm going, and you know when you get that creative mojo going, you hate to stop it, right? So I was up till like 2.30. My husband actually got up at 2.30 and made a pot of coffee, which I don't understand why he does that, because he, he, that's going to keep you awake, right? I don't drink coffee, so I don't know, but um, I think it has a lot of caffeine in it. Anyways, um... He came downstairs and I thought, oh, I'd better go to bed. <laughs> so, so I went to bed at 2.30 this morning and then when I got up at 8, he was like, you're up early for being up so late, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I know, I don't know, I just woke up, I'm excited, I want to go get my stamp room and get ready for tonight and and um, I knew he wanted pancakes for breakfast this morning, so I made him those and then I was working all morning. I ate lunch and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired. I should go take a nap. And it was about 2.30. And I thought, I don't need to set an alarm because, you know, I'm not live till 7. So we'll be fine, right? Well, guess what time I woke up? 10 after 6. And this girl still needed a shower. So, and I needed to clean up my room again because I am so excited to be able to show you my new room, which you guys can see behind me, right? I have it. It's done. The only thing I don't have finished is my mat underneath my chair. You know those office mats so your rolling chairs don't wreck your floor? So um, you want to... Mary Pucker's at a hotel and she can watch me. Yay, Mary! Woohoo! Um, always put the chair mat down if you have a hard floor. Like I put in laminate flooring when I remodeled my office a couple years ago. And I was lazy. And I didn't get a chair mat because, I don't know, they're kind of expensive. And I'm like, blah, you know, one of those things I just didn't want to spend money on. Yeah, well, I ruined my floor. Like, I ruined it. So, take my advice. Get the chair mat. Just get it. And there's a cheap one on Amazon for like $30 or $20. Don't get that one. What happens is when you roll over the edge of it off of it, and you come back onto it, sometimes you can catch the edge of it and it'll bend over and then it'll never lay flat again. And so I struggle with that. Then I had it gorilla taped to the floor, which was, you know, ugly and weird. And and um, I had to scrape that off when I threw it away. So I, got, I have a good chair mat now. Don't wreck your room. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so it is now 7.08. 
and I think that I will give you a tour before I do anything else because I'm super, super excited to show you everything. Oh, um, you guys, don't let me forget to plug my phone in, okay? Um, let me write myself a great big note. Hang on. Plug in phone. Plug in because I'm going to walk around my room and I can't plug it in until I'm done. Okay, are you ready? I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around. And where's the flippy deal? Maybe I'm going to flip you around. Oh, there it is. Okay, you guys, let's start over here by the door. So I showed you guys that I changed this around a little bit, I believe. That is just a closet. Now, I'm in a bedroom, and my bedroom is... Um, about 11 by 9 or 10 so it's not a very big room if it was a little bit bigger oh my gosh it would I, it would be absolutely perfect but here is you know my TV and this is my photo booth that's where I take all my photos up there oh let me change hang on I gotta change my mirroring there we go okay so um, this is this is my workhorse. That's where I keep my paper cutters, my envelopes, um, my designer series paper. I picked up one of these really cool little things from IKEA, thinking that I could put all these plastic sleeves in there for my designer paper. Yeah, well, they don't fit. And actually, this was not from IKEA. It's from the Container Store. So, um, my but my 12 by 12 card stuff will fit in there. So that means I'm going to empty out that bottom drawer right there. Okay, so. I don't know if I've ever shown you my closets, but this is just where I store all my junk, you know, office supply stuff, things, and, and prizes and stuff like that. Um, card stock over here, and just more stuff that you don't need to see because, you know, it's just icky stuff. Um, printer, I think I've got another filing cabinet that I bought from Ikea. I think I'm going to replace that little stand under my printer with a um, nice size filing cabinet. And then I've got, these are all my display boards. And if you saw my pictures from my, from my um, card buffet, holy moly, right? Wowzers. I'm going to bring this over because we're going to be using that first frost tonight. But I've got just a ton of display boards there that I take to my live events. All right, so coming in from my door... Oh, I'm going to have to open my door. Hang on, it's going to squeak. Urgh, isn't that icky? Here we go. This is my room. So, come in here, and here is my IKEA Calyx unit. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how excited I was for all of these drawers. It took me nine and a half hours to put all this furniture together because it is, you do assemble it. It comes in the boxes. I shared the whole shopping trip with you. But then we have all these beautiful little drawers and look at, I don't even have anything in some of them. Here's all my embossing stuff, my embossing guns. What do I have down here? Oh, just wires and chargers and backup system. Got my glues in here. And you know I'm the most, oh, here's all of my <laughs> stamp apparatuses. Yes, I have three of them. Um, the, the thing I'm most excited about is I've always dealt with drawers that were over full of everything. And you have to dig, and it's just a disaster to get into. And I'm super excited that I have room in my drawers. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> if you remember correctly... This wall over here had a cute little shelf on it, which is still there. And then I had those metal rods that went down the wall. And that's where I had my ribbon, um, the, the rain gutters that I pulled my ribbon in. Well, um, my husband cut those off for me. And I did get him to help me. He was pretty crabby about it. But he did help. <laughs> and I could have done it myself. But geez, it's so easier just to ask him, right? Shh, don't tell him I said that. But um, he cut those rails off. Let me see. Can I get my finger in there again? He cut those rails off. And um, then I took my ribbon holders and put them over here. So I used to have this was all a punch holder board. So I took the rods off of there that were holding my punch board or my punches. And I put the rain gutters up. 
So that's nice because I didn't have as many punches that are current right now. And I only keep current things in this room because I don't want to be making any mistakes and showing you stuff that you're not going to be able to get your hands on, right? Because that would be silly. Okay, and then this is my huge tabletop. I purchased this. It's actually two pieces. And I purchased this at um, Lowe's and I made them cut it for me so that I would have um, enough to go from this end down here to that end down there. I couldn't find anything that was wide enough to span this entire calyx unit. So I had them cut two of those for me. And then you can see here, I need to do some touch up paint because when they cut this stuff, it's shelving. And when they cut it, it gets chipped. So I'm just gonna drop some paint in there, but I had to put the edges on here with an iron. And those are strips of laminate edges that you can buy because it was, it's, um, you know, like that press board stuff. So anyways, got that. All right, let's keep moving along. Now, I do not have this table anchored in any way other than this little um, clap, clamp thing for my lighting. So that's the only thing that's, if I move this, it'll move. <laughs> Yeah, so this one not so important because I have this heavy little um, cabinet sitting on it. It's not moved except for me to push on it like that. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm excited that all my um, bins for my card buffet fit in here. So they're not in my closet where I have to like be a contortionist to get at them. And then I have, well, this little rolling cart I still have. I'm not quite figured out what to do to not have that. I like to be able to pull it over. It's got my big shot on it. And then this is where I keep all my um, holiday catalog stuff. Every time we have a catalog change, I put my new stuff in here so I can keep track of it and know, you know, like, oh, there's that punch. I didn't use that yet. So that's pretty cool. This is not changed, except that I took a whole bunch of stuff off of it so it doesn't look so ugly and um, cluttered. And I put that into my amazing shelving cabinet thingers. So I got two drawer, two drawer things, whatever you, um, components, that's a nicer word, right? And um, I also got this center cupboard down here. And then these are each individual cube. So that's a cube, that's a cube, that's a cube, and that's a cube. Um, so that I could move them around and do whatever I wanted with them. That's my new chair, no more ugly red chair that actually went right out on my porch, which reminds me, you guys, before I forget, um, my old desk, I'll post pictures of my old desk on my Facebook page. Anybody local needs a desk, there's a desk out there, and then I have some of those white um, drawer towers. I have a whole bunch of them like that that if you would like them, um, it's yours. You can come get my desk. You can come get um, all that stuff. It's on my front porch. Okay, back to, back to our regularly scheduled program. So this is going to be my little pretty area for displaying things. And um, there's a picture. That's a picture my daughter made for me of me and my mom and her up bear hunting. So isn't that cute? And then in the drawers... Well, this one looks a little stuffed and messy, but this is my shipping drawer. I have my labels in here, staples, stapler, address labels, um, envelopes down there. This, so this is like a business drawer. Oh, and I have gift certificates. If you guys ever need gift certificates or your family's like, what can I get you for your birthday? You tell them to call Kelly and make an order a gift certificate, any denomination. There's a little shameless plug, right? <laughs> Here is another drawer with more business supplies in it. I'm just keeping all my tapes in here and um, shipping stuff, my postage meter. This drawer, I found these little containers at Dollar Tree. And they fit, three of them fit perfectly in here. So I've got all my embossing powders. Um, these are some um, embellishments and other businessy things that I use a lot. And then here's a bunch of adhesive items and glue. And here's another one. And I also got all of these little containers. Whoops, you get two in a pack for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I've got my dimensionals and my adhesive strips and all my aqua painters and Wicked Stellas and sponges. And then 
um, the reinkers for some of my in colors. Okay, here is my glorious file cabinet that I am super happy with. These IKEA file cabinets are the bomb. They are smooth, they are sturdy, they are very well built, and I couldn't be more excited because I go in that like a hundred times a day. And my other drawer was breaking. I think I showed it to you guys. It was kind of embarrassing. It was breaking and it was horrible. And then over here on this shelf, I did buy a new one of these stacking drawer things because my other ones um, are smaller. And then this is a little thing that I got at the container store. And my wonderful friend and downline Kathy Miller made up all of these little tabs for me. So I've got everything where I can see it. I can grab this whole thing and decide what I want to embellish with, which is just fabulous. And then this is another container that I got at the container store and it is amazing. It fits all my current folders and my current um, thinlets, framelets. And I love this because I can grab the whole thing and put it on my desk and go through and see what I need to do. So, I think, let me turn you guys back around. Um, where's my turning around -y thing? Oh, I have to turn this off first. We're going to do mirroring again, turn you around. And here we are. Yay! Did you, oh, wait. Okay, don't get sick. I'm going to turn you around one more time. I forgot to show you this. This little cabinet is from um, one of the big box stores. And let me see if I can open it up. This drawer is really heavy. I've got all my blocks right here, and this sits right on my desktop. So it is right next to me. I've got all my blocks in here, and then these drawers I haven't even filled up yet. So um, yeah, I know. It's so good to feel to have extra space that I haven't even used yet. So that's pretty exciting. But this is just a little three drawer tower thing and it's wooden, I put it together and I thought that would be a great little thing to sit on my desk and then I have my Pampered Chef tool holder up here so that um, everything's at my fingertips. Which big box store? Well, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'm not really supposed to be advertising big box stores. So let's just say, private message me, I'll let you know. Thank you so much, you guys. I love my room and um, I love my big table. Now, the one thing that I don't love about it is that it's kind of tight. So to get into my ribbons is kind of tight over here. I am kind of feel like I'm crawling around. Um, but, you know, let's face it. Oh, thank you. Plug in my phone. Thank you so much. Um, we spend the majority of our time on our butt, right? Like sitting on our butt. So um, I don't need to be roaming around my room, right? Not necessary. So um, I figured it'll be okay. If my room was a little bigger in a perfect world. Hang on, I'm plugging in here. In a perfect world, yes, I would like a, like one or two more feet around here. But I know, right, Char? It makes you want to go organize. I can't tell you the weight that has been lifted off my shoulder and the new renewed excitement that I have because everything has its place. I have empty drawers. I don't feel cluttered and bogged down by all the crap that's all over. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm just so excited to be in here. So I've, had, I've, I've gotten a renewed energy to, I just want to create. I just want to come in here and create. And, and then I'm a little afraid too for the stuff that I put someplace and I can't find. <laughs> Because you know that's going to happen. I have a terrible memory. Um, so anyways, that's my room. That's my tour. I'm super excited that you guys could join me for my tour. And if I can tell you anything, clean out your rooms. Um, about a month ago, I spent seven hours in here just cleaning stuff out. I took five garbage bags of junk out of here. And... And my room was still usable. Like it wasn't like, it didn't look like a hoarder lived in here. <laughs> but that's how much stuff I took out of here that I did not need. 
and um, I took a bunch of stuff to Goodwill. I put a couple boxes um, saved for my used stamp sale. So um, that felt really good, but I still felt discombobulated. Yes, Patsy, um, I'm just seeing your message here. I did purge my room. It, it was horrible. I was, um, I was horrified at the amount of stuff I took out of here that I didn't need. And um, yeah, I can relate. My room was a disaster too. So it's such a, it's such a freeing feeling to get rid of all that junk and to be organized is like, ugh. I love it. You know, before I um, became a demonstrator, I was a pretty organized person. Like, everything had its place. I vacuumed every day or every other day. And I always, you know, decorated to the nines for any holiday. And, and I was that mom. I was a soccer mom coach and blah, blah, blah. And uh, then once I started doing this, things kind of, that wasn't so important to me anymore. I wanted to be spending more time creating rather than doing mundane tasks. And um, now I feel like I'm getting organized again. So, <laughs> okay, update on my daughter Haley. Um, Haley's had her first week of school. She is a fifth, sixth grade teacher for anybody joining new tonight. And um, she said it was... Um, it was a good week. It was a little boring because of all the routine that you have to go through to get everything set up to get your kids, you know, knowing what they're supposed to be doing and what the expectations are. But um, she also said the one thing she didn't particularly like about fifth, sixth graders is they smell. <laughs> they're stinky. Like <laughs> They stink. So she's got an air freshener in her classroom that she like turns on every um, morning before the kids get there so she can tolerate the smell. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Um, but her week went really good. She's got 27 students. Um, yes, I did plug my phone in, Kathy. Thank you so much. Um, 27 students and 17 of them are girls. So she said she has a lot of girlitude going on in there that she needs to get under control. And yes, Denise, puberty stinks. <laughs> I know, so gross. And you know, she gets that from me um, as far as I have a very low tolerance for uh, body odor on, well, myself or anybody else. And you know, those kids are right at that height where they're going right under your nose when they walk in front of you. And then they're not showering and their hair is greasy because they're going through puberty now. And, and that smell just makes me like gag, seriously. So, so I think she's a little hypersensitive to it because, you know, I am um, pretty funny. And my Anna is doing fabulous. Anna um, just sold another house. She's doing, she's working real estate now. She loves her job. She's crazy busy. Her girls are doing good. She is at the Packer game tonight. So I know I'm competing with the Green Bay Packers tonight and they start at six minutes ago, 720. So um, go pack, go. And I should really turn on that game. So hang on. I'm going to, <laughs> I'll keep talking, but I'm going to turn on that game and I'm going to just DVR it so I can watch it when we're done here because I am a Packer fan. And my daughter, um, Anna is at the game with her daughter, Andy, because the Packers are playing the bears and Andy, her daughter is a huge bears fan. And so that's really fun. This is her first Packer game. And Sunday night football, Bears at the Packers. We're going right there, and I am going to record that puppy. There we go. All done. I love DBRs, right? Okay, so uh, let's get on with everything. Um, thank you for going on my tour. I knew I wanted to spend a little time showing you my room because you guys have been so excited with me to um, get all my furniture put together, and my friends, um, Barb and Diener, were making fun of the fact that I, it took me till like two weeks ago to put the furniture together that I bought between Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> so they're like, oh, it'll be April before she gets that together. I wonder how long it'll take her to get together. So it was kind of funny because I spent all Labor Day putting my furniture together. I was doing labor. <laughs> um, we had a great Labor Day weekend. I was not live that weekend. We went to visit, um, some friends that have a cottage on a lake and that was really nice and relaxing so that was fun 
Thank you, Sherry. Um, thank you. I think my room is awesome, too. I appreciate that. Okay, Kathy's watching the game, too. Great. I hope you can do both. <laughs> um, okay, so what is happening? I have um, my online classes, of course. I always like to tell anybody new coming in about my online classes. If you go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, you'll find my online classes. Just scroll down the page and you'll see a little box that says online classes. When you click that, it'll take you and show you all the classes that I have. They're a lot of fun. They're exclusive um, projects and each one has its own video tutorial. Woo, I love videos. And what else is going on? Of course, the new holiday catalog just went live last um, on Wednesday, so that was exciting. I know a lot of you have ordered from it already. I just put in my first order with the live catalog, not my first order from it, but since it went live. Um, so that's pretty cool. And if you're looking to get a discount because your wish list is humongous, you might want to consider um, purchasing the kit so you can be a discount shopper. You receive a 20% discount for all your orders, and that includes anything that's on sale. You get an additional 20% off of the sale price. Um, it's a win-win if you have a big wish list. So um, our kit is only $99. You get to choose $125 with the product of your choice. It's an amazing deal. And you get to be with me. I love my downline and I have um, the majority of my downline are discount shoppers and I love them. I love my business builders. Um, we have a meeting coming up this week. Meetings are super fun. I do a live broadcast if you're not local um, so that everybody can join. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Leanne. Um, what else is happening? Paper Pumpkin, you have until tomorrow. So on the 10th is the deadline to sign up to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to get the amazingly cute Halloween kit. And we've been able to see the cute little box. It's decorated like with some spider webs on it. And it's really cool. But um, I've had quite a few people signing up in the last couple days for the new Paper Pumpkin or getting a new subscription to Paper Pumpkin. So tomorrow's the deadline to get the September kit. If you were interested in that, don't forget. I provide seven to eight different projects every month, um, alternate projects using the kit that you get in the mail. Plus, I'm part of a blog hop every month and there's like 25 of us and we each feature different alternate projects other than what the kit was intended for. So it's a huge, um, fabulous deal. And sometimes the kits come and I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I really like that card that they have planned for us, but oh my gosh, look at all these cool things. Um, when do they start mailing out the paper pumpkin? Well, there's a couple different mailings, Karen. Um, I think they start mailing it more towards the end of this week because there's two different mailings. I usually get mine in the third week of the month, and some people get theirs in the fourth. Kathy, yes, I love that blog hop too, right? And Cynthia gets two paper pumpkins a month. Yeah, you can get more than one kit. They're fabulous. They're $20, by the way. And I love them. I just have a blast with them. All right, don't forget, if you placed an order over $50, for every $50 you spent in August, in September, you have a $5 coupon. Don't forget to use your coupon codes on your online orders. Or if you're in my stamp clubs or coming to my live events, bring those codes with you so you can all apply them to your order when you place your order. That's always, um, hey, everybody loves to save a five here and a five there, right? What else? Um, I have winners from last week. Well, two weeks ago, okay? So they would be the winners from the 26th or something like that because I wasn't live last weekend. Oh, where do you go? Tammy's asking, where do we go to see the blog hop? If you go to www.astampabove.com, that's my blog. In the right-hand column is a place where you can subscribe to my blog. And what that means is every time I add something new to it, it'll send you an email with that post right in the email. So you don't have to go and, oh, I got to go check Kelly's blog. It'll come into your email every time I put something new on it. That's where you're going to find this blog hop. And it usually happens on the last Thursday of the month, I believe. And... Um, 
it's cool. It's very cool to hop along and see what everybody has created. And the moderator of the blog hop has hand chosen the demonstrators that are involved in it. And um, wow, it's some pretty cool, very, very talented people that I've mixed in with here. So that's cool too. Okay, that was a great question. Thank you, by the way. Um, winners for this week, I have Touches of Nature Elements. And these, can you see these? Mm, let me do this. These are going out to Mary Lynn Weller of Port Angeles, Washington. These are little wooden elements that you can color or leave in their natural state and add to your cards and scrapbook pages. Um, somebody just asked where about, where about what? Hang on just a second. Oh, you guys are figuring out where you're all from. Yeah. Let me know where you're from. You can only get entered in the drawing if you leave a comment. And if you're just lurking on here and not commenting, I won't know that you watched and you may not win. Fabulous product. <laughs> so this goes out to Mary Lynn Weller and Port Angeles, Washington for commenting. She won that drawing. Go pack. Let me know when there's any touchdowns, okay? Um... Next, we have another winner for sharing this video. Please click on the share button and you can do that right now. Click on share and share, share my video. Um, for sharing the video, I have these neutral enamel dots. These are fabulous. I'm backwards here, you guys. So that's why I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, these enamel dots are fabulous to add to your cards. The winner is Sue Jorgensen from Appleton, Wisconsin and part of the year, Florida. So Sue, congratulations. That was for sharing my video. And then for placing an order, um, the winner of this fabulous stamp set, and this is called Big Wishes, and it is so fun. I need to share this with you guys. I need to make some projects with it. Um, but this is going out to Sheila Crutchfield of Killeen, Texas. And she got, um, she won this because she placed an order. Hi, Kelly. Do I know where Waukau, Wisconsin is? Mm, not really, but I know where Amro is. <laughs> and thanks. Do you love my nails? Yeah, I just got them done. And my toes, too, but I'll spare you guys from looking at those. <laughs> They're pretty cute, too. Same color, no sparkle. All right, so congratulations. Three ways to win. Comment, share, order. And uh, these will be going out in the mail tomorrow. All right, let me toss them onto my humongous table. <laughs> I know, so exciting. All right, I think what I'm gonna do here is I am going to turn my camera around now so we can, I'll show you the cards that I received. I received some cards and some presents in the mail. I'll show those to you. Thanks you guys for congratulating all the winners. That is just so, it's such good sportsmanship, right? I love that. Okay, flipping the phone around now. If you get motion sickness, please um, close your eyes. I'll let you know when you can open up again. If I lose you, just come back to my page and refresh until you find the live video again. It happens from time to time, so hang tight. Try to do this with the least amount of jerkiness possible. And then I have to also, is this backwards? Yep, I have to change my mirroring. There we go. Okay, I think I'm done. That was pretty seamless, but I haven't gotten you in the holder yet, so that's a scary part too. Okay, I didn't kill anybody yet. Let's see, then I have to kind of position this so I know where I need to keep all my projects. And hang tight, I'm not ready yet. That's looking pretty good. I think we're good. Before I go any further, I'm going to bring in um, a marker here and find my host code because I lost in the move, <laughs> in the move of all the things, I lost my host code um, little thing that I, banner that I have out here. The host code is H-A-W-N-B-R-N-G. You want to use that when you're placing your orders. 
And you can also find it anytime on the right hand side of my blog at www.astampabove.com. So it's always right there. But that's the host code for September. If you use that, you get special perks from me. Don't uh, use it if your order's over $150 because you'll get your special perks right from Stampin' Up. Um, you'll also get some special perks from me on top of theirs, but I want you to get the rewards that you get from Stampin' Up if your order's over $150. You guys can look now, I guess. I forgot to say that. Okay, so I want to share with you just some really cute stuff that I got in the mail this week. This came from um, Linda Bunce. And look at this sweet little card. Isn't that adorable? Oh, hang on. I'm going to unplug my phone and get my cord out of the way here. And plug it back in. There we go. Whew. Okay. Uh, who got a touchdown? Oh, the Bears. Deb, thanks for that update. Andy, my, my granddaughter, is um, pretty excited about that, I'm sure. <laughs> so this came from Linda Bunce, and she sent it to... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Jody Peterson. So sorry. I've got some stuff here from Linda, too. This came from Jody, and isn't this just adorable? Thanks for putting the swap together and doing all the work. Thought this was super, super cute. So thank you very much, Jody. Sorry, I almost gave Linda credit for this, but wait till you see what Linda made too. Then I've got a card here, and this one is from Fort Myers, Florida. Oh, this is from my friend Sue. Sue is just, Sue has been with me since I started Stampin' Up. She is in my stamp clubs. And um, she's a very funny lady. I just adore her. And she sent me this cute little card. And it says, um, congratulations. She was delightfully surprised to find my pretty tote in the latest posting on Split Coast Stampers. So last week I was the guest tutorial on SplitCoastStampers.com. And that's always exciting because um, when they first asked me to do a tutorial, I felt like I'd finally made it, right? <laughs> Split Coast is just a huge Stampers um, website. If you've never seen it, you have to go visit it. So thank you very much, Sue. And then, let's see if I can find Linda's card. Nope, that's not. Hmm, what did I do with Linda's card? Well, I'll, get, I'll show you this one. This one comes from my mother. And I love it that she sends me cards that I made <laughs> because I give her cards as gifts. But um, she got to spend some time with me and the family um, while she was over in our area for a painting class. And so she's just saying thank you. And uh, lovely, beautiful card, Mom. Hmm. <laughs> I always think that's fun. I know, right? Then I got a gorgeous card from Suzette Lewis. Maybe this is, oh, that's Suzette. These are both from Suzette. And she's just sharing these with me. Is this not just amazing? And this card is, um, this owl set is a new one in the holiday mini catalog. And I just, oh, delicious, beautiful. It says, couldn't help but send two this week. I'm on a roll. And Suzette just left for um, Africa. It was on her bucket list, and she is headed to Africa right now on a trip. I think she left today. So hope she catches this when she comes back. And then we've got this one is also from Suzette. And isn't it just beautiful? Look at what she did with that watering can. She used the um, ga uh, galvanized paper. Yeah and cut out the watering can. So isn't that just so pretty? And it says, Sundays are my favorite nights. You are the happy Sunday night. <laughs> so beautiful, beautiful cards. And then this came in a swap. Now this is from Linda. This came in a swap from Linda. And isn't this just the cutest little purse, the embellishments? It uses some of our new paper. I'm going to be using this paper tonight. And it's got a, I think it's got a magnet. Yep, it's magnetic in here. And then it opens up and it's got Werther's candies in it. So this is staying right on my desk and I will be eating these. Linda, this is the bomb. Adorable. I hope you're watching tonight because this is so, so sweet. I love it. But what a cute little gift. Linda is one of my newest discount shoppers. And um, she participated in a swap that I hosted recently with the Holiday Mini Catalog. And when she sent her swaps to me, she sent me this little gift. So, oh, so 
so excited. Thank you so much. Who doesn't love presents, right? Okay. Are you guys ready to stamp? I think we are. I think we better get going too. Where's my little bins? Here they are. And let's see, what am I making first? I think we're gonna do this first. Oh, the other thing that Linda sent me was one of these magnetic little dishes. This is from Harbor Freight. That's the other gift that she sent me. So isn't she sweet and generous? And I've got it right here and I'm using it tonight. And I did have one, but I've got other stuff in that. So I thought, oh, this will be so great to have two of these so I can keep the other stuff in the other one and have this one to set right on my table. So that was awesome. Okay, we are using the first Frost bundle, you guys. And can I just say, I am so excited about the card that we're making tonight because it is gorgeous. And I, you know, sometimes when I say that, I'm like, oh, that sounds really conceited, Kelly. But let me tell you, when you have the most amazing products to work with and they are just drop dead gorgeous, you can't hardly make something that isn't gorgeous, right? That's the way I feel about it. So I'm going to start off first here. I need to make up some sample swatches so I don't have to keep dragging out these whole entire, um, packages of paper, but this is the Frosted Floral Specialty Designer Series paper, and I think I've shown this, you guys. It has a pearlized um, property to it, so it's very pearly and kind of blingy looking. And then look at this. That's what Linda used on this little purse. It's this paper right here. Well, it's upside down. It's got all those little flowers on it. Am I missing any questions? Gosh, I always forget to look. Thanks, Sharon. I love the magnetic bowl, too. Okay. Don't forget to share my video. Sharing is caring. Thanks, Marcy. I appreciate your share. That's what reminded me. Okay, so we have all this just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, pearlescent paper. And isn't this just mm, beautiful? Okay, hang on here. I'm getting a little confused. And let's see. One, two... One, two. Okay, so here's, I hope this is all the different patterns because I've been using this pack like crazy. I've got a bunch of them. Um, I ordered like three or four of these because it's just so, so pretty. So that is the Frosted Floral. Hang on, I'm bending something here. Oh, did you guys see this gray one too? I don't know that one. No, I think I used all that. Oh, here it is. Let me show that to you too. So yeah, isn't that pretty? Wowzers. Amazing. Okay. So here's our stamp set. You've got nine different images in here. And they're a very um um they're watercolor images and they're very kind of dusty almost, I wanna say. So you've got some beautiful fonts in here with our greetings, and then these gorgeous little images. And then today, um, with the frosted bouquet framelits, I took the time to do a little work for you. So let me pull this out of here so you can see these images. These are all the die cuts that are in this set. So you get this one, and then this one layers right on top of it. So that's great for greetings, right? Then you have, there are actually two dies that cut this single flower out. So this is the same flower. You get two of these. So if you're going to make a whole bunch, like a whole bouquet, you can cut two out at a time. And I love that Stampin' Up! is doing that now with their framelits. And then here's a bigger flower. This is not um, a stamped image and this is not a stamped image, but these are framelits that are in with this bundle. So you've got these two leaf spriggy things. And then this is a stamp and a die, stamp and a die. And then again, you get two of these little flower things so that you can cut out two of them at a time. Love it. Way to go, Stampin' Up! Okay, and then here are all the images stamped so you can get a better look at them. And um, can I just say I am giddy with how beautiful these images are. This is just an amazing bundle of products. So let me get this out of the way. And um, I love that I can just throw this over on my giant table. 
Yeah, I'm really excited. Kelly says that these images look similar to what was in last month's paper pumpkin. They are similar to last month's paper pumpkin. So that's a, that's a good um, reminder, Kelly. Thank you. Okay, for our card, I've got a fun fold for you. And you guys are going to love this because it's just so, it's cool. Fun fold. So first, I'm going to give you my dimensions. So hang tight. Oops, hang on. i got to find them. I left them on the back of another card. Dimensions. Take a drink while I'm grabbing it. <laughs> what are you guys drinking tonight? I have um, Pepsi. It's my first one of the day. And you know, after my incredibly long nap today, I'm probably going to be up all night. So, yeah. <laughs> Might as well throw some caffeine on top of that. Okay. So I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss here. This is six and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter. So this is the size of a card, you know, quarter sheet of cardstock. Scored at four and a quarter. And let me get a good crisp burnish on that. Then we've got this designer series paper. And I'm just going to start putting some of these layers together that don't require anything else to happen. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my tower of drawers that are, it's under my table because I don't have any place to put it because my room's not big enough. But right by my feet right now as I'm sitting at my tabletop, I have a tower of drawers under there from Ikea. That is also another great place for storage and most of them are empty. <laughs> yeah. Um, then I've got another piece of Blackberry Bliss, and this is two by five and a half, scored at two and three quarters. So right down the middle, and you always make sure you want to burnish these edges good with your bone folder. Then I've got the gorgeous designer series paper here, and we're going to keep the floral side up. I had a customer who wouldn't buy um, stamping up paper because she didn't like that it was double-sided and she had to choose between this side or that side. And I thought, geez Louise, buy two packs. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that was a little different. Okay, so next, um, and I loved her, don't get me wrong, she was fabulous, but it was kind of funny. We've got a piece of Whisper White that is one and three quarters by two and a half. One of our pearlized doilies, which goes great, of course, with this beautiful paper, right? And then I used these two die cuts. You've got this one. Hang on, let me see if I can grab this. This one and this one to die cut a mint macaron and a whisper white layer. That's going to be for my greeting on the front. And then... Um, this goes on the inside. I told you what that one was already. And then we've got Mint Macron and Gray Granite Scraps and a Whisper White Scrap for our stamping. So let's get our stamping done here. I am using Blackberry Bliss, which is like, look at, look at, I'll pull my shirt up. I'm wearing it today and my fingernails are it and my bracelets match and holy cow, I love Blackberry Bliss. So yeah, I'm kind of uh, going crazy with it. Yeah, you know what, Sharon, you're right. It's hard for people who can't make up their mind if we have double-sided paper. <laughs> but I like the I like that it coordinates on the other side, first of all. And second, if each sheet only had a print on the front, we wouldn't get as many designs in one package to choose from. So I always look, my glass is always half full, not half empty. Okay, we're going to do a little stamping here. So I am going to take this little piece and stamp it with that little, um, I don't know what you call this, the little twiggy image. <laughs> and I'm just going to do a little bit onto this layer with the gray granite ink. And hang on, get my chamois out here and clean this off right away. Okay, and then we can put this right in place because I'm done with everything I need to do with that for the moment. This goes on the inside of this little folded layer. Okay, so we've got that done. 
Then we're gonna do stamping of our other images. And I am using Blushing Bride here, and I'm going to stamp two roses, and I'm spacing them out far enough so that, oops, I, yep, I only need two, so that the dies will not be bumping into each other. You don't wanna let your dies touch when you're running them through your big shot. And then we're gonna do the smaller flower. Isn't that just <gasps> gorgeous? And I noticed tonight, you guys, that I'm not having any problems um, focusing in and out. That was an internet problem, not a problem with my phone for the last couple weeks. And I just had AT&T U-verse come here, and they jacked my bandwidth speed from 25 to 100. Hello. I don't want to deal with any more of that because that was horrifying. So um, that's pretty cool, right? So here we go with our dies. We are going to die cut one of these twiggy things on our gray granite. We are going to die cut this leaf image on the mint macaron. And then I have my big rose die that goes, well, let me figure this out here. I had it right the first time and then I had to turn it over. Um, my rose die right here and then the little roses just like this, and we remember we have two of those, so we can cut two of those out at the same time, which is cool. Okay, so I would run all of this through my Big Shot, and you guys know that I don't like having you wait for me to do that, because that's nonsense. Nobody wants to wait around for that, right? Unless I'm showing you something specific on the Big Shot. So, here we go. Through the magic, of TV. Kelly has already done all this so you don't have to wait for it. And aren't these so pretty? Here we go. Two flowers, the spriggy thing, the leaves, and two more flowers. Now, I do have to stamp this with our greeting. And let's see how good I am tonight. And I'm doing that with Blackberry Bliss. That's not the best, so let's try it on the other side here. <laughs> it wasn't centered. Don't worry, because if I mess this up, oh, that looks great. I'm gonna see if I mess that up. Um, I am prepared. I have covered myself. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of pressure to be stamping in front of all you guys. Okay. And Mary's coming on saying hi from Rain Soap, Southern Maryland, expecting hurricane coming. Oh my gosh, I wish you the best, Mary, that your damage is none to minimal. Holy cow, we had a ton of rain, you guys. I just um, mowed the lawn, the back lawn, and I couldn't even, the backyard lawn, I should say, I couldn't even mow towards the back of our lawn because we have a standing pond. And my husband, I don't know how many times, had to pump down our swimming pool. It was just, ugh horrible. Okay, I think I have everything ready. We're ready to assemble this. Let me close my ink pads because I think if I were to drop this card in one of these ink pads and ruin it, I would actually maybe tear up a little bit. <laughs> That's how pretty it is. Okay, here we go. Let me just get this out of the way. And remember, okay, we've done that. Now we are going to glue this in place. And I'm just adding some glue to the back of this layer. And then I'm going to slide it over top of my flap. And I'm going to put it right here. Are you guys seeing where I'm going with this? Uh, I received a swap card with this layout using a whole different stamp set. But oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Now I'm just adding some glue to the front of this little panel. And I'm going to center my doily over the top of it. Now, yeah, there's still glue sticking out there, but don't worry about that. It's not going to hurt a thing. And we're going to cover it up with some dimensionals. Whoops, I just dropped a pack on the floor. So here comes some dimensionals for the back of our greeting layer. Oh, thanks, Sharon. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sharon said, you're so fun. I love being fun. I always say, if you can't have fun, stay home. That's, that's my thing. Okay, ready? Look at how pretty that is. 
wait, it gets better. So here we go with our, oh, you know what? I did this last night when I made my card too. Good thing, I just popped those on there. I need to put my little springy things on here. And I'm going to just tear that one in half. So I have this one, and I'm gonna add that with just a little bit of tape. Here comes this one. Here, hang on. I'm gonna do this one right here. This one, I'm gonna go right there. That looks super good, as opposed to just mediocre good. <laughs> super good. Okay, so we're doing that. Then we're gonna take, I needed two sprigs and I only cut one out. So I'm just gonna take this little piece down here and put it off the bottom here and that'll be fine. Okay, so I've got that one on there. I just stuck it to the dimensional. It's stuck there by accident actually. So we'll just leave it alone, right? Then we're gonna add a little bit of glue right here for one of our Blushing Bride Roses, okay? Then I'm going to bring in one of our Blackberry Bliss roses and add a dimensional to the back of that. And we're going to put that, I want to be careful where this dimensional is going because I don't want to see it on the back of this. So I'm going to stick it right there. So it's not going to be showing back here, okay, when they open our card. And I'm going to put that right there. Look at, are you guys with me? Holy cow, beautifulness. We've got one more here, and I think I'm gonna use a mini dimensional on this one because I don't want that one sticking out either. Right there. Get that backing off. Here comes this one. And now we're ready. Are you ready? Are you ready for all this fabulousness? Center that right in the middle there. Get it straight. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, hang on. Hang on with the ho, ho, ho. I have one more thing to do. This other flower, remember we cut out two pink flowers? It's going to go right there. This is your area where you can write just a tiny little message. And here's your card. And if you needed a place to write a bigger message... You could put another layer on the back here and use that, but isn't this the coolest little fun fold ever? Holy cow. And I love the first frost bundle. Like, holy cow. Okay, let me grab a display board. I already put these cards, oops. I already put these cards on a display board and I usually don't like to do that until I've shown them to you um, in my Facebook Live, but I was pressed for time, so let's see how well I can do this. Because I have a gazillion um, samples to show you here. And I'm hoping that I'm in the screen good. But these are all using the first frost bundle. Am I doing okay? I hope I'm keeping the glare down from the lights. I can't turn my lights off because we need those to make the video bright. There came my cord, hang on. Look at this, look at this one. Holy cow. Is that not just amazing? Yeah, this is where everything's gonna get in my way here because, hang on, my cord keeps falling down, you guys, sorry. Let's see if I can turn my board this way, you guys, because I'm running into my um, stand. Are you still seeing these? I know this is not the best angle, but doggone it. Maybe um, next time I use this set, I will take these off of here and redo them. So watch my videos on YouTube, and I'll make sure that I share those cards one by one so you can get a better look at them. I know that wasn't the best opportunity to show you. So yeah, isn't, isn't this pretty? This is, oh my gosh, <laughs> like I said, it's just amazing, and the paper is beyond gorgeous. Okay, are we ready for what's next? Yeah, I'm ready too. Let me put this away. Just, uh, just hang on a second. 
and I will get my desk cleared off here so we can get on with the next one. I have another really cool card to share with you. And toss that in the garbage. Alrighty. Couldn't resist. I love Halloween. And uh, I can't resist Halloween. I've got some gorgeous other products. If Halloween isn't your thing, hang tight because I've got other stuff to show you how to use and um, it'll be worth your while. This is gonna be super cute too. All right, here we go. Now, for this particular card that I'm going to make for you, when you place, um, a $35 or more order in my online store this week only so now through next Sunday at Facebook live time so now through next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time I will send you a kit so you can make one of these cards yourself I think you're gonna love it so this is again the same um, layout this is six and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and I need to do my scoring here. This is five and a half by two scored at two and three quarters and just so you guys know you can find all of these dimensions in one place on my blog www.astampabub.com every Tuesday I upload this when we're done here tonight I upload this video to my Facebook page so it stays there. So if you missed something and you want to go watch it again, you can just refresh your screen and you'll see the videos there. I won't be live anymore, but it'll still be there and you can rewatch it. But I also upload it to YouTube every week. And then I post it on my blog for my YouTube subscribers that may not be on Facebook. And that happens every Tuesday. So you can find my Facebook Live video and then photos of all the cards that I make and all the dimensions and ordering links that makes it easy to go right to my store to order for my Facebook Live on Tuesdays. All right, we are using the Cauldron Bubble and the Cauldron Framelit dies along with, let me grab the paper, the amazing Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. And if you watch my videos, I've shown you this paper before. It is just adorable. We have these cute frogs, beautiful witches hats, the little ghosts, these little chubby ghosts are my favorite, I think. Um, the brooms, pumpkins, this little girl, the cats, and did we come and the bats with the stars. So there's a whole bunch of really pretty paper in here. One of the cool things about this framelit set is the fact that. These framelits will cut out the elements in the designer series paper too. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's pull this right up here. Here's the hat designer series paper. This framelit cuts out all the hats. All the hats on the page can be cut out with this framelit. Um, another thing that's neat is this page right here with the cats and the cauldrons and the spiders and the stripes, the little kitty die, same thing. You can stamp your kitty and die cut it or you can die cut it right out of the designer paper. You can stamp your hats or die cut them out of the designer series paper. What else is here? Oh, the cauldron. Again, you can stamp and color it in yourself or you can cut it right out of the designer series paper. So that's really, really cool. Um, the Little Witch, same thing there. Now, there's only some of the witches that can be cut out with this framelit because, you know, I'm figuring Stampin' Up! didn't want the same witch over and over and over again. So one's holding a broom, one's holding their hands in front, one's going like this. The ones that this works with is the girl with the gray hat and um, you can die cut this little witch right out of our paper or again you can stamp it and die cut it as many times as you need it so some really cool elements in these framelits the other thing that I haven't even touched on yet and I need to so that means I need to make more cards with this yay 
is the spider web in here. The spider web is awesome to use with our black metallic paper. So we have this shiny black paper and oh my gosh, it makes a beautiful web out of this die. Then we have another one for the little ghost here. This little chubby guy, I love him. He's so cute. And then we also have a die for the frog. And then the star die on here that you can cut out little stars and use them or cut out stars in the background of your layer and use those um, to peek through to the next layer. So I always like doing stuff like that too. All right. I know, Joe, I love that they're making um, papers that match the dies to be cut out too. I think that's awesome. Did I just see, oh. I thought I just saw a bug. It wasn't. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Let me get some of this stuff off my desk. So, Cauldron Bubble. Here we go. This, again, is a super, super easy card. Um, I'm going to fold on my score line. This is basic black card stock at five and a half by six and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then we've got this little piece that is two by five and a half scored at two and three quarters. Here comes our um, designer series paper. And I'm just going to add this inside my card. And I'm using the hats. This is two by five and a quarter. And yep, I'm gonna cover up those cute little frogs because guess what? I have three packs of this paper and I can use the other side for something, <laughs> some other cards. Yeah. I can make decisions. <laughs> okay, and then let's see here. What else are we going to do? We are going to um, stamp the inside. This is the little piece that is two and a half by one and three quarters. I'm going to bring in some memento ink, and I thought just a really cute little embellishment on the inside of this particular tag would be the little frog. So I'm going to stamp him, and then I'm going to color him in. And this is the light granny apple green marker. And just let me put my readers on, because that's the list. I want to make a nice little frog here, as opposed to a frog that looks like I couldn't see. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. The struggle's real, people. <laughs> I want to make sure I leave his little eyes white because I think they pop out and they're really cute. Am I missing any questions? I get going and I'm just having so much fun I kind of forget that I need to be monitoring questions, right? You guys let me know. Be persistent. If you've asked a question and I haven't answered you, ask again. Don't, don't miss that opportunity. Okay, there we go. Isn't it cute? Okay, next we're gonna take this little layer and we are going to stamp Happy Halloween. And I just did this freehand. Please pray with me that I can get this straight. How about that? Just gonna do a little test run right here. I know that my words are mounted on my block straight. This is, this is hard. I did pretty good. Whew. It's a lot of pressure. Okay. We're gonna take this little layer and I'm going to put this, oh, we've got one more thing to do here. Do I have my gorgeous scrape ink? I do not have any ink out here, so let me find it. Here it is. Purple is just my go-to color. Um, almost all the cards I made last night were Halloween cards and they're almost all have purple in them. So beware, the purple's coming, people. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hi, Sandy from Oak Creek, Wisconsin. I was just down there at your Ikea. Woohoo! Okay, I've got a sponge here. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this is one of our um, little label. I think it's called a round label punch. I'm not really sure. But what I did was I punched that out and I stapled it onto my wedge of a sponge. And that way I know that this is purple. So next time I go to use it, I can grab it when I need purple. I'm just going to, now, there's two sides to these. This is the pearlized side. Oh, look, I have to pop that out. This is the pearlized side, and this is the flat white side that you can make any color you want. And I'm going to make mine purple. 
and I'm just giving it very light motions. You don't want to push on this too hard because it is delicate and you don't want to crumple it up, right? There's your new word for the day. I guess that is really a word, isn't it? Crumple? I don't know. Somebody corrected my grammar this week on YouTube. It was kind of funny because as I was editing my video, I noticed that what I said probably wasn't the right way to say that and I contemplated editing it out. I think I said the least inexpensive and of course that's wrong. It should have been least expensive. But um, I knew somebody would correct me so that was kind of funny. <laughs> like yeah, I knew it was wrong. So bless your heart. Thank you for trying to keep my grammar in good shape. Okay, so here is our purple. Now, we are going to again take this layer and add it. I'm just going to put some glue on the back here. Yeah, you know what? Joe just said purple is her absolute favorite color. Um, my grandma loved purple. So anytime I use purple, I think of her. She's been gone for several years now, but it was her favorite color too. So I, I know exactly what you're saying. Purple's a pretty color. Okay, so now we're going to add some glue here. And I just, you guys can see, can you see how little glue I use? I just kind of scribbled it on there. And we're going to center this. And isn't that just stunning, that purple? Love it, love it, love it. Then we're going to use this piece right over top. And I'm just going to center this on our black layer that's under the purple. There we go. Next. I pulled out our metallic sequins, and I really like these. This is the um, assortment, because look how many different sequins we get to choose from. And now I have a new thing to show you guys. You might have seen this already, but this is our new take your pick tool, or as my friend likes to call it, pick your nose. No, no, it's take your pick. Um, this is a, has a little spatula here. And it also has a pokey tool that you can put right in here and lock in place. A paper piercer, I call it a pokey tool. Okay, lots of little tools there. Um, it comes with a stylus end that will fit right in here. So you've got a big stylus and a small stylus. And then we've got this end that has the putty in it. And the putty is for picking up little embellishments just like this. Do I have two there? Yep, I do. Hang on. There we go. And when you buy the Take Your Pick tool, and I don't remember how much this costs. Does anybody know how much this costs? Um, yeah, Sharon, she must have been a teacher. That's probably true. You also get a refill on the putty end. So, you know, I can't anticipate running out of putty for years even with as much as I'm going to use this, but um, you get a refill with it. Whoops, I better put some glue down. I'm too busy yakking. So I'm just going to put a little glue dot there and grab my star, and then you grab it with your fingernail and just leave it in place there on your glue. So I just wanted one little star on there. I thought that would dress this layer up a little bit. And of course, I wanted to show you this tool because it's pretty cool. It's $10. Thank you guys so much, Julie and Tammy. This tool is $10. And again, it comes with a refill on the putty end, and you will be able to order more refills. <clears throat> the stylus, the spatula, which is great for picking up rhinestones and pearls or our self-adhesive um, sequins. That's what this is good for. And I'm sure other things I haven't figured out yet. And then you get the stylus end. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I've been using it now for a little while, and I... <clears throat> Excuse me, I really like it. So take your pick tool, it's called. I'll have this in the product list on my blog with these projects. All right, so we've got a couple more things to do. You need a black scrap because I'll be darned if I wasn't going to use this bat punch. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Yeah. Here we go. So I wanted to put some bats on my on my card to go with my hats. Oh, there's another little bug. What is the deal? They must be coming in. It's kind of cool here in Wisconsin this weekend. It's supposed to get really hot later in the week, which I'm excited about, but my husband closed our pool, so that's kind of a bummer. But anyways, here's a couple. 
<laughs> Isn't it cute? All these little bats, and you can do whatever you want with this one. I don't know. I'm not going to use it, but um, we have one more thing to do. I promise you. Look at oh, look at this ribbon. Oh my gosh, this is called the glittered organdy ribbon, and it only comes in black. It is so, so beautiful. So of course, I had to tie a bow. And I've got my bow jig here. And again, if any of you are new, Erin just limped off the field. Oh, Deb, that's terrible. That's our quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Not good. Um, if you've never seen me use this before, you cross your ribbon or baker's twine over you push it under, up, over, and now you're going to tie it right here in the front in a single knot, and it makes the most beautiful bows every single time. My friend Denise's husband makes these, and if you would like to get your hands on one, you can pop me an email or send me a private message. Well, no, you need to email me because I need your email address, and I will forward that to my friend Denise, and she will contact you. I think these are... $10 and that includes shipping because shipping's expensive. So the bulk things are really only $5, but yeah, $5 shipping, which seems outrageous, but whatever. We got to keep the government business too, right? Okay, so here is our adorable glittered bow. And I'm going to put a mini glue dot on the back of it. And then I'm going to put another mini glue dot on my card before I put that bow on there because I actually remembered to do something in the correct order. So who's celebrating with me? Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, Denise, the um, dark green velvet ribbon. Yeah, it is. Let me grab it. I'll show everybody if I can find it. It should be in this drawer right there. Here it is. This is so, so, so pretty. Again, holiday mini catalog. All this stuff is in the holiday mini catalog, which is amazing. Now, I'm gonna bring in some of our mini black sequins. Whoops. And I'm gonna add this. And you just cut that off. Don't worry about it, it's okay. You're probably gonna cut one of the sequins, but like there's a million of them on here. Yeah, you're right, Joe. You can't put a price tag on that, on that um, tool. It, it's amazing. The pick, take your pick tool, pick your nose tool. No, <laughs> not pick your nose. <laughs> okay, here's. I just added the sequin trim to that little mini glue dot, and now I've got a mini glue dot on the back of my bow. I'm just gonna bring that in there and put that on top. And are you guys giddy? Is this not? The cutest little card ever. Yeah, this was the first one I made last night. And then I made this one. Well, I should say, of the, I made lots of cards last night. But this was the first time I made this layout. And then I made this one. And holy cow. And Jenny, it's okay to root for the bears. It's okay. My granddaughter's a huge bears fan. So we're good with that. But super, super pretty cards. Yeah. And I did have some more cards to make for you tonight, but I figured with the tour of my room, this would be about all I could get through. So we'll save them for next time. I'm going to be live again on September 16th at 7 p.m. Central. Don't forget to share my video. Sharing is caring. Yay! And there are three ways to get entered to win. One way is by leaving a comment. Everybody who comments will get entered in the drawing. And um, another way is to share my video. Please hit the share button, that helps me out so much. The next way is to place an order and you'll be entered in a drawing to win um, fabulous product from Stampin' Up. We have so many new things. I've got a brand new order coming in second day air tomorrow that is filled with the prizes for the next couple weeks for my Facebook Live. I'm super excited about that. I also have a VIP Facebook group, and that is for my ordering customers. It's an exclusive group. When you place an order with me, you get into that group. I do giveaways on there where all you have to do is comment, and I pick your name in a drawing, and you win more product. 
I have exclusive projects that I share on there with downloadable printable project sheets so you can have them forever. Um, there's a lot of things going on on my VIP Facebook page. If you are not a part of that and would like to be, all you have to do is place an order with me. Don't forget to use the hostess code this month is H-A-W-N-B-R-N-G when you're placing your online orders. Um, I always appreciate that. That enters you in a drawing to win another stamp set. I give away a lot of stuff. Um, and I love doing that. This host code is what helps me be able to give away so much stuff to you guys. So that's always fun. Um, cauldron bubble and the first frost. Holy cow. I, I had a blast. I've got a whole bunch of Halloween cards to share with you using this set. So if you're on the fence about which Halloween set you need to get for um, the upcoming season, I really recommend this bundle with the, the designer series paper because, of course, it's just stinking adorable. You won't be disappointed that you got it. And another great, beautiful set that you will be able to use for years and years and years is this first frost set. So, um, and the paper. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so I'm rooting for the Green Bay Packers. And I am going to uh, turn the game on now because I DVR'd it so I could watch it. Please remember I have orders going in every Thursday. If you're not comfortable placing an online order, and not everyone is, I understand that, you can email me your order, we can talk on the phone, um, and I'll place an order for you so you don't need to um, worry. I'm here to help you any way you need help. All right, you guys. I'll go back through and look at all my comments to see if I missed anything. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. As always, I don't know how lucky am I that I have all of you sharing my Sunday night with me, right? Have a great week, and I'll see you back here on the 16th at 7 p.m. Central Time. Bye-bye.